Hey guys, what is up? My name is Eric, also known as Aviator. I'm coming to you live once again from my home here in Central Florida. Now today is Friday, and I'm bringing you guys a very special video. This week is episode number, gosh, I don't even know. It's Photo Friday, though, and this is the first time I released Photo Friday in a couple of months. I'm pretty excited about it because a lot of you guys have been asking for me to bring this series back. I kind of retired it for a bit there just because it does take a lot of time to put these episodes together and then we're getting a lot of views. People didn't seem to be enjoying them as much. So I figured, well, I'll give it a rest, see what happens. But some of you guys were so passionate about Photo Friday and learning what I do for a living as a professional photographer that I couldn't help but bring it back. I hope you guys enjoy this episode. We're gonna be talking about some outdoor portraiture as well as what you should be buying if you're looking into getting into photography yourself. Now, I'm also looking at doing a little behind the scenes video action at my MLG Providence event, which is actually where I am right now as I upload this. Not as I'm recording it, obviously, but as I upload this, I'm at MLG Providence. And I'm gonna show you guys some behind the, some behind the scenes stuff from videography and stuff that I do there. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll look forward to hanging out, with, hanging out with you in the very near future, and I'll talk to you later. All right, bye-bye. All right, guys, welcome back. Wanted to take just a minute here to fill you in on a few different things. First and foremost, I want to show you guys a few photos from my wedding last weekend in Key West, Florida, just to give you guys a bit of an idea for what you can be looking for when you're shooting. The first image is, of, of course, this puppy dog. It's beautiful. It's the, the couple's dog. And uh, I got to tell you a few things to look for on this image. First and foremost is that the focus is directly on his eyes. Now, we've talked about depth of field in the past. And in fact, I'll link to a couple of different episodes at the end of this. But depth of field is very, very important, particularly if you're trying to shoot with the same kind of style in which I shoot, where depth of field is just about everything. This shot was taken with the Canon 35mm f1.4L, shot at around f2.8, giving me a really nice, soft background, sharp eyes, and, well, a great expression. Now, in this image, I'm actually using a lot of reflected light and diffuse light as I'm underneath a clear tent. Now, we've talked about diffusing light and reflecting light in previous episodes as well, but to give you a quick recap, harsh light is light that comes directly from the sun or directly from a flash, and th that light just is not very pretty. However, when you soften or diffuse that light or you use a bounce that moves that light from one place to another or one angle to another, it becomes beautiful, smooth, and clean. So, that's why the puppy shot looks fantastic. Now, secondarily, this is a shot right at their, first, at their first kiss, and it's one of my favorite shots from the weekend because of the background. Now, mind you, the shot in the foreground, yeah, that's nice. They're kissing, it's pretty, it's precious. It's this moment, you can tell they're very, very thrilled with life. But the background's what matters because it captures the essence of where we were at Key West. Now, the creeping pastor is one thing because he was hilarious, good personal friend of theirs. He's just like staring at him. But the bird in the background, the very slight bit of ocean, you can see it beyond them. These are the things that matter. These are the things that help rec help you recognize where they are and what's special about where they are. I love it. Now, the next two images are very similar to each other. These are right after the ceremony, right after the photos. We're running to the reception site, and it was so great. First one, you can just see the joy in their eyes. As I told them, why aren't you guys holding hands? Come on. Snapped a quick photo. And one quick thing I wanted you guys to notice about on this photo is what I've left out of the photo. I know we've talked about this before, is, is kind of using focus in your images, whether it's uh, the actual point of focus or the com composition of the image that can allow you to drive the eyes to imagine what is not there. Here I've cut the groom's head off. In a lot of people's minds, that's completely breaking the rules. In mine, it works for the image. It helps draw your eyes to her even more than him. It's kind of a cool thing to do. Now the next image, I just absolutely love the emotions in this one. They're walking through the hotel bar on their way to the reception site on the pier. And I love that people are clapping and cheering for them and they're embarrassed and excited at the same time. It's absolutely awesome stuff. But that's the end of my images for today. I do want to share with you a couple of quick tips. I am still working on putting together a full episode of what you guys can do if you wanna get started properly. But for now, I wanna give you guys a buyer's guide. What to look for if you wanna buy a good camera to get, scar get started right away. So, here are my tips. I highly recommend you get yourself a digital SLR camera with a single lens. Now, my recommendation for both of these things are gonna be a Canon Rebel Series camera. It can be any Rebel. You can find a, re a used Rebel XT like this one. I've got over 400,000 photos taken on this camera. This Rebel XT shoots great still, and you can get it for about $150 used. Start shopping, Craigslist, eBay. Be careful where you shop. There are a lot of scammers out there, obviously, but they work beautifully. 
The Rebel series of cameras has great skin tones, handles low light very well, and when coupled with this lens I'm going to recommend to you, it's pretty much unstoppable. That lens is the Canon 50mm f1.8. We call it the Nifty 50 or the Thrifty 50 because it's a 50mm lens and it's really, really dirt cheap at about $100 on Amazon brand new. You can't beat it. So if you are looking to get started, this is the kit to get. You're also going to buy a couple of compact flash cards. I recommend four gigs to eight gig cards, somewhere in that range. You don't want a too big of a card because what happens if one of your cards dies, which does happen with compact flash cards, and you lose all the images on it. It's a huge bummer when you've lost the entire wedding or the entire event or the entire portrait session, whatever it is, huge bummer. That's why I use smaller cards and change more often to protect my images. But guys, this has been Photo Friday. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope that you can take some of this advice to heart. Obviously, it's been quite a while since I've done one of these. If you'd like to see more of them, please leave a comment below. I would love to be sharing more of my work with you, teaching you guys some more tips and tricks. It's been quite a while, and it actually feels really good to get back into it. But anyway, I'm through for now. I will catch up with you all very soon. I hope that you're enjoying your week, I guess soon to be weekend. And uh, I'll tell you right now, I'm at MLG Providence as you're watching this. And hopefully it's going well for my boys at Optic. So cheers, guys. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.